number one, um, I think what I would say is don't assume. You assume somebody has a college degree and you think they probably read, write, think, and speak well. They should, but don't assume that. Okay. But here's you asked about assessment. Um, I actually think a basic writing uh, assignment, I think a basic, um, you know, let's, you had a customer call. A customer asked you these questions. What would you say? Yeah, uh, there's scenario old, based. Scenario based, Love yeah. It. There's an old uh, office episode where, where <laughs> you, could, you could play off of that. But just, you know, thinking about scenario uh, playing. And then, the analytical skills is really important to me. Like that's the thinking skills. So, so helping people with um, not just the scenarios, but but plausibility settings and what what's what would you do if and choosing between various options, doing those kind of things in conversations, super super helpful. And uh, then the last thing I would say is this: even if you have an amazing all star college graduate, don't underestimate the personal cultural development. If your vision has a clear mission and has a clear culture. It takes time to inculcate, to, to impart that into a new employee. I don't care if they're amazing. It's going to take a while for that to become internalized. Don't underestimate that. Yeah, and don't underestimate how they may be overconfident because they're a superstar, right, right? Right. And they may think they got it, but they yeah. don't really have it. And I, I've got some great questions that were given to me, by the way. It's not my great knowledge. Right. And that really test how someone thinks. Great. I did the interview again today, 28 questions. And, and I save my scenario-based questions towards the end when they're a little tired, yes. they're, a little, they're comfortable. Right. And, they're, you know, I really look how well they think things out. And I never would have answered these questions right. And 98% of them fail the questions. Mm. But it helps me understand. Sure. Okay. What I found recently that we had to add in was at least one scenario-based question where their integrity was questioned. That's so good. Okay. So so we built in one that says, you know, hey, you, you are working and you have a coworker who accuses you of doing something unethical or violating a standard or violating a company policy. And I don't make it too rough. I don't say they call you out in the middle of a meeting. I say your boss brings it up on a one-on-one. -on -one, what do you do? It's really interesting the answers you get because you want to see what happens when you're faced with conflict. Yeah. How are you going to handle that? So it's good. One of the things that I think businesses find most uh, critical for new employees is how do they do in terms of teamwork, the ability to work in teams yeah. effectively. And just as I said, don't assume that somebody has a college degree automatically knows how to read, write, think, and speak well. Don't assume somebody has personal character and integrity enough to, to be both moral and to want to be highly relational. A lot of yeah. people come in maybe saying the right words relationally, but if you give them a scenario like a conflict situation, listening to their reaction to that uh, when they're personally attacked or when they feel like their judgment's called into question, that's a real good insight because a lot of people have never faced that. They've never faced the challenge of somebody questioning their integrity. Yeah.